Hey, so what's going on guys? Matt here with Drug Tech Reviews and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys an update on what I've done to the Sirocco since the last video, which was a couple of months back. So I did some uh, upgrades to the car. Uh, not so much of repairs, but more of upgrades. So I'll be showing you guys in this video. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, do hit the subscribe button and also enable notifications so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post. And without further ado, let's get into what has been done to my Volkswagen Sirocco. All right guys, so let's pop the hood real quick. Okay, so let's start with the engine bay wise. And uh, I think if you've been following the channel, you've known that I actually respray my turbo heat shield. And uh, it didn't turn out so well after the second respray. You can see here, there are some bubbling and uh, overspray all over. Uh, it was my bad, but well, I'll probably give it a respray uh, in the future. But anyways, it is what it is. And I also did rewrap my intake pipe with this uh, heat shield, on this gold foil right here. So I wrapped it all around and I used the cable ties to actually hold it in place, especially at the curves, because you know, uh, the intake pipe is actually pretty rough. So the heat shielding didn't really want to stick to my intake pipe. So I had to use the cable tie to actually get it like stuck there permanently uh, so overall that is uh, something that I did pretty quickly uh, and other things that of course I did remove my race chip so the race chip is now uh, a dummy plug because the race chip was causing clutch slip and it was basically damaging the car and uh, causing the engine to judder it was giving me a whole lot of issues so I decided to actually remove it and just fit on the dummy plug I might get a stage 1 tune uh, soon but uh, for now because I do have warranty on my Mecca and my clutch because I changed it at Volkswagen so I can't basically do anything with the car at the moment so yeah in terms of uh, tuning wise I'm still putting it on hold um, other than that I think pretty much I just coated all the pipes with uh, silicone spray so just make sure the pipes do not go like cracking in the heat because Malaysian weather is like crazy, crazy hot. So I've just done that and I, of course, maintain the engine bay, make sure it's clean. Uh, so that's basically it for the engine bay wise. So let's move on to the exterior. Okay guys, so the exterior is where I've uh, basically done most of the work. So I did change my rims because I've actually hesitant to change my rims at first. But because the rims couldn't be repaired anymore, so they advised me to actually change. So I picked uh, AOW flow forming rims. So these are 17 inch rims, uh, ET35. So overall, these rims has been really good, really light. Uh, and many people have actually commented, the tire shops have commented that, whoa, these rims are actually very light. But one of the main reasons is because the tires are actually filled with nitrogen. So all the four tires are filled with nitrogen. So these are basically really light and uh, overall very good in terms of handling, consumption and so on and so forth. So I definitely recommend you guys filling with nitrogen. So tires have remained stock because I do not want to go 18 inch yet. Uh, I also did upgrade my nuts to TPI nuts. So these are original TPI nuts. They cost about what, 200-ish uh, ringgit. So they are, yeah, they, are, they look good because the original ones uh, had some issues. They actually, uh, were damaged. Some of the treads were damaged on the ball, so I decided to just change all of them. The rim wise, uh, the only thing I do not like is they do not have the center cover, the cap right here. So I feel that uh, eventually the whole thing is going to be filled with rust. So I've always uh, taken preventive measures and uh, ensured that the, I clean off the rust so I do not let it build up. But these rims have been really good. I got this at the old price, which was around 2,300 ringgit. So really nice. I uh, got the metal valves as well. So that came free with the rims. So you can see right here. Overall, a very nice setup. So this car has a wider track base, a wheel base, I should say. So they do need to run on ET35s to get a very nice fitment and we give you a look at how the fitment is very nice so I haven't lowered it but I will be lowering it in the future I haven't picked my coilovers yet uh, okay another thing which I've done is in the safety department the brake department so you can see right here I do have uh, cross drip rotors right here 
I did a video on that. I'll leave it in the eye card above or in the description below. So these are Brembo extras. So I got Brembo extras on all four sides just to make it all balanced. So I got the Brembo extra brick pads as well. As you can see, these are pretty nice. Uh, they are the OEM size, so no modification needed. Let me give you a look at the rear ones. So these are the rear Brembo Extra. So they have been doing a really good job uh, in terms of braking wise. Uh, never had them fit at any time. So really good. So I've actually drove them up and down kind of thing. So pretty good. They held up really well. Uh, of course, this side had some issues. Uh, I had to change the wheel bearing because the, the tread on the inside of the hub was worn. I'm not sure why because I already changed the bearing once. So anyway, I had to do it again and spend another 300 rubbing it, but uh, what's needed to be done has been done. So I already corrected it and uh, overall they look really good. I uh, didn't want to modify my brakes too much. So yes, Brembo Extras for the win. All right, so uh, in terms of uh, overall look, I think these rims look pretty good. Of course, they look quite small, but once I get it lowered, I think it will have a very nice stance to the look of this car okay so that's about wraps up what i've done to the sirocco of course there'll be more things to come in the future once i get the warranty issue all sorted out um so this has been a pretty quick video hope you guys like it if you did like it do hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one and i'll see you guys in the next video